begin with Ibrahim. It's such a contentious story, subhanAllah. Ibrahim السلام, is one of the two prophets who are most mentioned in the Quran as examples to our Nabi Wasallam. Ibrahim is set as the example of Tawheed, what it means to really give yourself over in submission and surrender to Allah. Have no mistake in your understanding, the word Islam does not begin with peace, it ends with peace. Islam begins with surrender and submission which allows you to give over the command of your life to one who knows you and what your life should be better. So when you give it in surrender to Allah and follow His dictate, you can find a peace that is beyond the emotional peace that we try to interchange with each other. And therefore you see that Ibrahim Hanifa, he was a person of pure monotheism. And Allah says to our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, وَمَنْ يَرْغَبُ عَمْ مِلَّةِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ إِلَّا مَنْ سَفِهَ نَفْسَ None strays from the path walked upon by Abraham except one who has deluded themselves. وَاتَّبِعْ مِلَّةَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ حَنِيفًا So you, ya Muhammad, adjust your lifestyle and walk upon the path of Ibrahim in a clear monotheistic capacity that singles me only out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Ibrahim is born into a society of shirk. People who worship other than Allah. In fact, the, his primary caregiver, his father, Azar, is a man who is the chief idol maker, the highest of priests in the order of his civil society. And Ibrahim begins to try to speak to a father who does not want to listen and debate with elegance and with equity about who is Allah. There's many different narratives that I'm sure that you've studied, from pointing to the stars and the moon and the sun. Hada Rabbi, perhaps this is God, he would say to the people, to get them to think. He was on a lonely planet where everything around him disputed what he knows is truth. And I want you to understand that our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was very much in the same capacity, very singular in his perspective in understanding Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, immersed in a sea and an ocean that surrounded him that leads to other than Allah. It's for that reason that the Prophet would ascend the highest cliff, I want you to understand that it is entirely possible that you love a person who's on a path distant from Allah and that love does not need to change. What needs to change is your call and your attempt to bring them to truth.